All right, let's take a look at the large reanchor rescue. So first thing you want to do as the rescuer is climb the standing lines, um, typically on the descender side of the casualty, um, where the casualty is sitting in the loop. Uh, so you'll change over on the standing lines. So I've sent it here to the anchors, changed over into the ID, and I'm cleaning up the hand descender there. Dress your ropes to either side of you, and we're going to use the re-anchor loop uh, almost like a track line. So we'll clip a single carabiner into the center D-ring there, clip that around both the ropes, make one connection to the loop, and then we'll use our secondary backup to, a, to make a second point to the loop. It's either your duck or your Kong. And then descend the standing lines in the, the loop. Uh, will we'll track you towards your casualty. I'm going to get just close enough that I can reach um, my casualty's ID. Grab the tail rope there, unlock the handle, and uh, getting into a good position to uh, ergonomically pull them towards you. You want to pull straight back towards you. Uh, facing your casualty, remember to bring their back up close as well. Uh, this will save you from getting stuck at the bottom of the loop at the end. Uh, hopefully you won't have to haul out. So now dress those loop ropes. Um, you want to find out where they are at all times. The cleaner you can be in this rescue, the better. So find your loop. Clean it right up. Get it off to the side. And just kind of get your head right here. So at this point we can start making connections to the casualty. I'm going to choose a Grion as the short connection. So I'll clip that to the ID carabiner, the spine of the ID carabiner. Okay, now this will be a bit weirder than the other rescues you've done. You cannot clip over the loop. And we're going to attach that connection to the casualty's ventral D-ring, not the sternal. It seems like it'll be bad casualty management, but it will make sense when the when the pick happens. So we can also use that Grion to pull the casualty nice and close to us. The shorter the, the connection is, the closer the casualty sits, the easier the pick will be. So I made one point to the casualty, now a shortened secondary cow's tail can be the second point. So again, use the Grion to pull them closer, and now we can reach that secondary point also to the ventral. And now I've got two points to the casualty. This is a good time to clean up that first side of the loop, so lower out the casualty's ID. Now you can remove your two points from the rope, from the loop rather. Remove the casualty's ID. Remove the casualty's ASAP. Or whatever backup is closest to you. Now that first side of the loop is completely clear. Now is a good time to change out the secondary backup for the ASAP on the far side of the loop, if necessary. If the backups were reversed, we can skip this step. Now we want the ASAP on the far side there so it travels with us. Remove the duck. And we're getting there. Okay, so now the last thing is to get that casualty off of their crawl. But you can see it pretty clearly here. If I remove that crawl, there's nothing to catch the casualty from swinging back over. So we'll put the ID on below the crawl. We're ultimately just going to change the casualty over. And you can set up this pick however you like. Um, I'm, I'm using a Dyneema sling here. It's a little bit smaller, a little bit less resistance in the pick. And I'm just clipping that straight into the sternal. And that means that I'm going to get a one-to-one -one pick out of that, but if you wanted to get a little bit more mechanical advantage, you could clip it to the hand descender, go down through the sternal and back up, and you get a two-to-one. But the one-to-one -one should be enough in, in this situation here. Over the carabiner of the hand descender, 
Try to fix that crossload there. Now, you put your foot in that pick strap. It's very important that you pull the strap, not the rope. And you see how loose that rope comes just by pulling on that strap and standing in it. As soon as you grab the hand ascender above or the rope above, you're just pulling that rope into the crawl tight. Now I'm going to use that pick strap for casualty management because I've connected to the ventral. Casualty is not going to be in the best position, so if I use that pick strap, tie it off with a little mule knot there, I can keep my casualty a bit more upright. You'll notice I tied it around the Grion as well, so now I can still escape the system. You know, if we start to descend without removing this hand ascender, we're both going to be stuck. So get rid of that hand ascender, clean it right up, make sure the casualties ASAP is coming with you, and you can descend over out of the loop. And once you're out of that loop, you're back onto your standing lines, install your friction carabiner, Double check that your ASAP is unlocked and you can descend to the ground with friction.